Hi Taurus. Welcome to Tomorrow Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly love reading and angel advice oracle card messages for the week of October 23rd to the 29th, 2016. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I say it all the time. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. Um, I do thank all you guys for your likes, your shares, you know, especially your comments. I absolutely love interacting with you guys. Um, if I haven't gotten back to you, to you, I you know I definitely will. Um, but really, from the bottom of my heart, you know, those of you that have trusted me to do private readings for. Um, really, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do that for you. Um, those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be below the video. And especially for my new subscribers, let me just say that if this reading doesn't resonate with you in any way, you know, please look at your moon, <clears throat> excuse me, your moon, your rising sign, um, you, you could get that information at cafeastrology.com and, you know, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay, Taurus, let's see what you're, wow, nice. Ace of Swords. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeking the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. Now, your first two tarot cards, this is the Angel Tarot, and the next one is the Guardian Angel Tarot, or the Fairy Tarot, sorry, both by Doreen Virtue and Riley Valentine. So, new beginnings. Um, you know, maybe, a, you know, a challenging new beginning. But a, 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 a new beginning. You know, definitely turning a negative into a positive, a, a brilliant idea, an intellectual solution. You know, it's just a card of, you know, expect, you know, great inspiration this week to come your way. You know, possibly from an event or a situation that, you know, has been previously troubling you. You know, now you, you know, clearly get to see the opportunity to see something amazing, you know, that you're full of excitement. Beautiful energy to start the week. Clear thinking. Truth can surface. Any truth that you might be waiting to hear this week definitely could be a possibility. Okay, from the Fairy Tarot. Four of Summer, which would be, um, you'll know it better as the Four of Cups. You know, and it is about, you know, boredom, restlessness. But, you know, in this deck, it's also, you know, Like a lack of motivation, you know, not seeing the forest from the trees, you know, you're just sitting there out there in a garden, maybe, just daydreaming, which is good, you know, you're daydreaming about possibilities. But You know, daily life, I, I love how it is in this, in this deck. You know, daily life could definitely, absolutely be, you know, full of hectic activities. And you, you know, could grow distracted from, you know, your partner, you know, from opportunities. You know, you just don't notice them. But they are being offered to you with this card. You know, but you may be, 
you know, so focused on what you don't have that you, you know, completely, you know, discount, ignore, you know, the gifts that have been given. It was definitely to good get outside this week a little bit, you know. You guys are earth signs, you know. I am too, I'm a Virgo. You know, I love to get out and walk, you know, especially with my dog. And it does, it, quiet, it quiets your heart, your mind. But, you know, maybe, you know, a, a new beginning, a, a, definitely a new beginning and something is offered to you. you know, something is definitely offered to you this, this week. And it appears that you just don't know if you want to take it. Now, the butterfly, um, flower therapy, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. And you have smile. And at the bottom it says, simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. People, laughing is underrated. Smiling is underrated. People don't laugh anymore. And you know, laughter is the best medicine. It is. You know, think of how you feel when you're, you know, smiling. You know, how, what, what do you think? Do you think, you know, do you instantly think of a carefree moment in your life? You know, this week, notice when when you're smiling. You know, you're no longer concentrated on such mundane things like stress or time restrictions, even pain. Really, laughter, smile. It really is the best medicine. And when you smile, the universe smiles back at you. Okay. Butterfly Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Changing your mind. So, with this card, you have changed your mind about some sort of previous decisions. And you're struggling with the possibility. The repercussions. Maybe you're worried about what other people, you know, are going to say. You know, how they're going to react, what the consequences are going to do. And it's, and you know, it's like you're, and then, then, you know, your second thoughts, you know, are like, you know, you know more than when you made your original decision, Right? That made sense, right? You know, if you, I said, you know, you, that you, you know, you could possibly worry about what other people might think, or whether you or another will, you know, suffer consequences due to the second thoughts, and your second thoughts, you know more than when you made your original decision. I don't know why I felt the need to say that to you twice, but it is, it's like you already know, but yet you rethink it twice. Like, I hope I made, I hope you know what I mean. Um, You know, with that card, you could possibly, you know, be deciding to leave a relationship, quitting a job, you know, 
deciding not to accept an offer. You know, which absolutely, you know, is, is almost the same. It is really the same, you know, as the, as there's opportunities available. There's, they're here and so is the new beginning, but for a, for a lot of you, you're just not, you don't want to, that's at the beginning of the week. Second week, maybe. Like, second half of the week, I mean, not the second week, the second half of the week. But it's like all these opportunities are definitely presenting themselves. And you keep, you're definitely changing your mind continuously. Okay, so these cards are by Angela Hartfield. And if you watch my Morning Oracle cards, I do use her Whispers of Love cards. These are her Nature's Whisper cards. And I love her... Whispers of Love cards so much that I just had to, I had to. These, and they're beautiful. And we have Trust Your Own Understanding. So this is about, you know, information that you're receiving. It, it's reliable and accurate. Look deeply you know, into the situation before making any commitments. You definitely have the foresight and the ability to discern that there is more than meets the eye. Everything will be revealed at the appropriate time with this card. Don't feel the need to, you know, prove yourself. Be patient allow things to unfold, and they will. And just trust your own observations and knowledge because they, you know, they do hold true to you. And, you know, with this ace of air here, you know, I said that before, that I do think that some truth could definitely come to light for a lot of you, you know, it could be regarding, you know, job, relationship, whatever it is for you. Um, it all revolves around, you know, the, the truth, a truth, you being clear. Honest, direct. Getting to the, to, you know, getting to the bottom line. Loving words from Jesus. We have peace I leave you with my peace I give unto you. John fourteen twenty seven. Beautiful card. If you want to pick up the Bible and read that verse um, one day this week, beautiful. Okay, um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland, along with your three romance angels cards. And we'll see what that is first. That is the star, okay. Make a wish. This is a card of hope, guidance, inspiration, serenity, healing if you have been sick. Peaceful healing energy surrounds you guys right now. Beautiful card. I mean, It's, it's just an ideal time to bring healing into your relationships, 
you're realizing your hopes and dreams. You know, for some of you, this card could, you know, in this deck could be asking you that it's time to, you know, ask for someone for forgiveness or vice versa. Whatever it is, the overall energy is beautiful. With the Ace of Swords there, you know, the star, it, it's really, whatever your wish is, it's a beautiful energy. Your Love Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So. You know. All right. So singles. You know, there's definitely potential for you to. Meet somebody that, you know, get involved with somebody this week, meet somebody this week, you know, with the star, you know, the ace. Absolutely. I feel like, you know, definitely you can't make up your mind about that, though. But what, what, what really stands out is the children and the codependency. You know, those of you that are single, you know, there's definitely, I feel that there's somebody you're thinking about and they're, they're worth waiting for. And, you know, that new beginning could really be your wish this week and you could make that happen. You know, codependency could be anything that you're addicted to. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be sex, drugs, rock and roll, nothing like that. But, I mean, it could be. But it's some kind of addictions. I mean, you could just be totally, you know, addicted and obsessed about someone, which that's the way I'm kind of feeling it. And you're, you know, you're offering, you're offering or, or it, the other way around. Whatever I say could go the, uh, the other way around. It could be, you know, you doing this or somebody else doing this. But, you know. Maybe giving the offering and. Totally lost track where I was going to go with that. I hate when that happens, but it'll come back to me. You know, I do think that maybe, you know, you know, with this um, four cups and the children, you know, could have a big impact on, you know, why you don't want to move on this new beginning, whatever it is for you, you know, that, that could, you know, You know, when there's children involved, that could, you know, it weighs, it, it puts a lot of weight on, on any relationship, you know, maybe, you know, within the family, you know, you have children with codependency issues, you know, for those of you that are married, You know, and if that's the case, I mean, that'll turn, that would, there'll be, that'll turn around. I mean, I think it'll take some time, but whatever the codependency issues are as far as, like, in the family with the children, they'll be healed. I mean, it doesn't even matter what it is because this card is of total healing. And with this card, whatever it is this week, you know, you know, 
it's 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 healing and it's new beginnings and it's clear thinking clear understanding it's cutting through the crap and getting to the truth in whatever it is you know for some of you just some kind you know some addict addictions are affecting your romantic life in some way shape or form for some of you you know, whatever, whatever the addictions are for, you know, it's, it could be anything. It could be anything. But for some of you, they're definitely affecting your, relationship. But I mean, What does Jesus say? Peace I leave we peace I leave it with you, my peace I give unto you. So and really and with the star card here. Definitely. There's definitely a healing energy and a you know, with this angel in this card, I just feel like whatever the the situation is for the week. Can we even in this card too? I mean, you know, angels are are of angelic guidance. You know, and and it's just it's divinely guided too. I feel like it, it really is. And those of you that, you know, whoever that is for, with, you know, this changing your mind, whatever it is for you, this new beginning, these offers being made, I feel like for whoever that's for, you're sitting around waiting. And probably for someone who, I really feel like probably this person has children. And you feel like if this person's worth waiting for. And you go back and forth with it over and over and over. And you're just, maybe you feel like this person's your soulmate. I, I don't know, but I, I do feel that for one of you. The star card, though, that could turn around for you this week. Anything is possible this week, guys. Really, I feel that strongly. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, with, no matter what it is, for sure. Okay, Taurus, I hope this reading helped you guys out for the week. I thought it was pretty amazing, actually. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. You guys should. And I will see you guys back here with the Morning Oracle Cards. Have a fantastic day and a blessed week. Bye-bye.